Wrestling Team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. At small forward, Jaden McDaniels. At point guard, Mike Conley. At center, Rudy Gobert. The other forward, Julius Randle. At the other guard, Anthony Edwards. The head coach of the visiting team is Chris Finch. Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. Let's check out Minnesota's starting lineup. And he's at the two with McDaniels playing the three. Julius Randle out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And for the Kings, DeRozan and Murray in at the forward spot. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. Then it's Damana Simonis, and it's Ellis in at the shooting guard. Grant, looking at these two teams, my attention is drawn to the front court matchup. Oh, yeah. This should be a battle on the baseline. Great to watch skilled bigs trade blows and show off what they can do down low. Randall outside. Outside Edwards. And he banks in the layup. You got to bring more muscle if you want to stop Edwards from scoring. He's gifted at converting through contact. Pass to Sabonis. Over Gobert. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Fox. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. A bit ago, Mike Brown and I were able to chat. He knows it'll be tough to score in the paint tonight. Gobert locks down the lane as well as anyone. He blocks shots. And then, when you count up the numbers of shots he alters, you get a full picture of his dominance at the defensive end. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Yeah, this is the kind of confidence you love seeing. Murray not thinking twice at all about firing away. Randall outside. to the middle. Here's Edwards. And Edwards Anthony slams Edwards. it in. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Now here's DeRozan. Back to Fox. Four on the clock. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. The offensive rebound. Here's Sabonis. Good D by Gobert. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. 
Randall outside. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Conley. The Timberwolves need to get off the shot here. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Mike Conley. When Gobert is close like that, you know he's going to try and ram it through. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. That's just the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. And the Kings have held tough. But it seems like the West has gotten tougher, Grant. Well, what's the saying? If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And the Kings have to find that next level. Here's Ellis. Pass to Murray. And here's Sabonis. Here's Ellis. Guarded by Edwards. DeRozan against Edwards. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. The Timberwolves have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Back to Conley. Pass to Edwards from 15 feet away. Hits the rim on the way in and the bucket is good. Edwards got six points. And this is how confident Edwards is. Feels like he can sink these shots whenever he wants. And it's Mike Brown calling timeout here. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Please welcome to the floor your 916 crew. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Picked by Sabonis. Here's DeRozan. And the shot falls short that time. The Timberwolves lead by three. Randall, the pass to Gobert. Sabonis against Randall. Pass to Edwards. Driving in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Keegan Murray. Yeah, momentum and commitment on the drive from Edwards. Going inside and running right into a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And Grant, the success of teams like the Timberwolves showing that size still matters. Yeah, in this pace and space era, that may have come into question just a bit. But size and skill combined has always been your best bet at winning. And good on the second, so he makes them both. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Ellis. Murray deciding where to go with it. Down to five on the shot clock. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. Outside Edwards. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got three assists in the game. Kings trail by seven. Now here's Fox. 
Still without a bucket. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. For Grant in the spring of 2024, a remarkable streak ended. Damanis Sabonis had recorded 61 consecutive double-doubles. Yeah, it was the longest streak since the merger back in 1976. Now, Sabonis has led the NBA in rebounding multiple years. Plus, he has averaged eight assists in a season. So that is big-time production. That free throw, no good. Richard, something you notice about these Kings, they shoot plenty of threes. And that's the modern game for you, B.A., but Sacramento shoots especially freely. You are right. And those shots often connect, so I doubt that that trend changes for them anytime soon. So it comes up empty at the line. And Richard, whenever Sabonis plays, it's surprising if he doesn't record a double-double. Oh, they're usually monster double-doubles also. Close to 20 points, 13 rebounds, and at least six assists. Domas, he is an offensive hub. Yeah, Fox can be so slippery on the drive, making those little adjustments to get by the defense. Conley against Fox. Outside Edwards. From the arc. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Ellis passes to Murray. And another basket for Sacramento. There's a big need for players like Murray. A player who can do damage as a spot-up shooter. Inside. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Murray. Now the Kings in transition. And it's Fox with the jam. Great teamwork on that drive. The assist punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Now here's Edwards. He's got 10. From downtown. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. Three when Edwards knocks down threes, Ant is pretty much unstoppable. And it's Mike Brown calling time out here. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. Vincenzo, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so here's Sacramento, trailing by four. Back to Monk. Fox outside. Fires from 14. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And Fox is so slick with the handles. I love watching him show off like this. Conley passes to Gobert. Outside, DiVincenzo. Edwards looking it over. Gobert with a screen on Monk. Edwards for three. That's basket number six and eight tries. And certain nights, Edwards just goes off. Very tough to stop when he's in the zone. Here's DeRozan. And it's Gobert with a rebound. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Now here's Gobert. Pass to Edwards. Shot clock at six. Back to Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Kings trail by seven. Outside Murray. Now here's DeRozan. Kick by Murray. Shot from the wing. Anthony Edwards with a rebound. 
No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. And Sacramento making a change here. Lens checked in. Alex Lynn. For Sacramento, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Fox against Conley. Fox with the ball. Six points for him. Up and over Conley. Fox, that's good. Fox has got eight points. And Fox can hurt you from there, especially when he's shooting with confidence. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. One nickname you hear for DeMar DeRozan is the lone mid-ranger. He said you can operate freely in the mid-range. It's like an ocean out there. If you're smart, you can take advantage of the space and pick teams apart. Brian? He's an expert tactician working in between. Thanks, Allie. He's showing that quickness that time. Fox getting rid of it in a hurry. Randall outside. Yes, great play by Connolly to set it up. And the Timberwolves lead by five. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Now here's DeRozan. No point so far. Monk against Edwards. Randall outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. He shoots it. That won't go either for Randall. For Sacramento, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. Down low. Fox outside. Murray, a screen on DiVincenzo. And here is DeRozan. Out to Fox. The three. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go, and this man is feeling it. Outside, DiVincenzo. They get it back. Go back. Oh, yes. Whoa. Throw it down. Oh, an awesome athlete. It's fun watching Gobert get up and hammer it down with force. And Fox has got the ball here for Sacramento. Four-point game. Here's Lynn, defended by Gobert. From the line. And it's DeRozan missing. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Wow, Julius Randle. <laughs> we can feel the floor shaking on that one. Lynn passes to Monk. Three-pointer, no good. The Timberwolves lead by six. Pass to Conley. Gobert with a screen on Fox. To the inside. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Can you say natural leader? Conley is especially effective at running the offense and involving his teammates through his passing. Here's Lynn. No points yet. Now Monk. DeRozan outside. Murray for three. Yes. Great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got his fourth assist in this one. Minnesota's gone two of five from deep. Outside Edwards. DiVincenzo on the wing, defended by DeRozan. For three, Randall sinks it from distance. Randall. Randall's got seven points in the game. Hey, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. DeRozan outside. Monk against Edwards. Monk passes to Lynn. Back to Monk. Over Edwards. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Edwards. A chance to 
push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Anthony Edwards has been on display for Minnesota. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. We'll be right back with you shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. We've got Kevin Herter. Malik Monk is out there with Jordan McLaughlin. Then it's Trey Lyles. And it's Sabonis in at the five. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Herter gets the bucket. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Reed sets a screen. Up top, Edwards. Monk covers. Reed for three. And again, it's Minnesota with a three. And how about Edwards keeping his head up and spotting the open man? Here's McLaughlin, covered by Alexander Walker. Pass to Lyles. To the paint. Here's Sabonis. Alexander Walker grabs the board. The Timberwolves lead by eight. We played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Herder passes to McLaughlin. Monk with it. Outside Herder. He shoots over DiVincenzo. Herder can't hit. Minnesota's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. And Richard in a league where shooting has never been more valuable. It's great to have a player like Kevin Herter. And he doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. Matter of fact, he's probably best when he's moving off the ball and causing confusion. He puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Rebound by Sacramento. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Monk passes to McLaughlin, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul. Ellis has checked in for McLaughlin. In the lineup for your Kings, number 23, Keon Ellis. Now here's Monk, covered by Alexander Walker. Monk passes to Sabonis, five to shoot. Shoots over Reed. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Edwards for three. Rebounded by Lyles. Kings trail by eight. It's a bonus. The pass to Lyles. Here's Ellis. Pass to Sabonis. They still need this. And the layup is good. Getting good position as always. Sabonis going to town. Love his footwork in there. Now here's Edwards. He's guarded closely. Beyond the arc. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And so Monk will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Here's Ellis. Back to Monk. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Outside, DiVincenzo. Outside, Edwards. They set the pick. 
to the middle. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Yeah, great play from Edwards off the pick and roll. Moving the ball around and get another guy a shot. And it's Mike timeout, Brown timeout. calling timeout here. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. DeRozan has checked in for the Kings. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Ingles has checked in. Substituting on the court. On defense, the Timberwolves. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Sabonis with a screen on Edwards. Here's the floater. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Nas Reed. It's the versatility and the unpredictability of what Sabonis does that makes him so hard to match up with, which is why he gets these easy fouls. Knocks down the first one. Well, Grant, we know non-shooting big men can clog the paint. But if they know where to move off the ball, that certainly helps. Yeah, you know, big men who know those circle actions, like flashing to the open spot when their man gives help, they often end up with easy looks inside. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Ingles. And Sabonis drops them both. Sabonis is a guy who works hard on both ends of the floor, and he does things the right way. Monk against Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Monk. Edwards for three. Offensive board. Gobert. Gobert not bothered by the D. Yeah, just what they needed from Gobert. Grabbing the rebound with those long arms and sending it back. Monk against Edwards. Pass to DeRozan. With the floater. And Gobert with a block. They recover it. Just five to shoot. Monk for three. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And Edwards slams it in. Can you say terrific athlete? Edwards just enjoys getting deep positioning and rising up for the slam. Here's Lyles. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Sacramento shooting their fifth and sixth free throw attempts tonight. First one falls. So the Kings making a change here. Fox is checked in. No good on the second free throw. Minnesota leading by nine. Pass to Alexander Walker. Counted. And the defense has no one to blame defense but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Minnesota shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Monk, he's checked in for Lyles. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Trail by 12. Fox, the 
pass to Sabonis. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Ellis. DiVincenzo covering. Pass to Fox. Richard, the first winner of the NBA Clutch Player of the Year, De'Aaron Fox. And he's great late in game because he's so quick. you got to give him space. But he's improved his outside shot. So you can't just lay off of him. Makes him a little tough to guard, especially late. First free throw is good. Grant, when you talk about De'Aaron Fox, what an exciting player. That he is. And just now, entering the prime years of his career, we've seen him make great strides the last few years. And it's scary trying to think just how much he can still improve. And both free throws good for Fox. One of the fastest guys in the league. For Fox, it's about using his blinding quickness to his advantage on both ends of the floor. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. Outside Edwards. The triple hits for Edwards. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Here's Ellis. DiVincenzo covering. Edwards against Monk. Six on the shot clock. Pass to DeRosa. Let's go with a three. Again, the miss by the Kings. Minnesota leading by 13. Right side, DiVincenzo. Alexander Walker with it. Here's Gobert. He's got 10. Back to Alexander Walker. From deep. Anthony Edwards. Lenz checked in for Sacramento. Herter comes in for Monk. Randall, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Conley comes in for Alexander Walker. Sacramento has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Kings have to get better defensively. Coach Mike Brown said, for us, it's about five guys guarding the basketball. When the ball moves, all five guys should move. We have some pretty good individual defenders, but we're not relying on them to shut down the great players. Brian, it's a team effort. Defense on a string, Allie. Thank you. And Minnesota with possession here. Following the score by Sacramento, Conley finds Edwards. Tries again. Go Bear! Hammers it home! And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Fox against Conley. And it's Fox missing. And it's Edwards with the ball for the T-Wolves. This is the most they've led. 13 points. Now Gobert. He's got 12. And here's Randall. Now here's Edwards. And the lamp is good off the glass. Edwards got seven now in this quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to Fox. Plenty of space. And how about that? Eight for nine now. The assist, Ellis. Conley with the ball. He's scoreless. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Randall. Rebound by the Kings. 
Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. DeRozan with the bucket. Isn't it beautiful watching DeRozan just work through contact? He loves overcoming these kind of moments. Here's Conley. Sacramento getting their last shot to go. Outside, DiVincenzo. It's Edwards on the wing. Defended by DeRozan. Edwards, a pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Conley. Good work defensively by Fox. Kings trail by 11. Pass to Ellis. Here's Lynn. Fox with the ball. This one for three. Ooh, the triple falls for De'Aaron Fox. And when Fox, he's hitting consistently from deep, it opens up the floor for him and his teammates. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Edwards. The 15-footer is good. Edwards got nine points in the quarter. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Herder can't hit. Minnesota leading by 10. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Randall. And here's Conley. He's covered by Fox. Now Edwards. Fires from deep. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Three. Conley's got six assists here tonight. Sacramento has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. DeRozan against Randall. Three-pointer. Fox gets rebounded by Minnesota. Go Bears. Minnesota's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to Edwards. We've got 108 left to play in the second quarter. Unable to get that one. Uh-oh. Did he change his mind on the way up? I think he did. And it's good. Two points. Herder's got five. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first half. DiVincenzo against Herger. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's covered closely. Lynn pulls it in. Kings trail by 11. Here's Herger. He's got five. Here's Fox. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. First He's so foul. quick. The only chance you have against Fox is to give him tons of space. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he makes a first. Both good from the line that time. 17 seconds left in the second quarter. Now Edwards. 28 points for him. With one on the clock. And so it's Minnesota. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. Back after this.
And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And so here's Sacramento. They trail by nine on the court for Minnesota. Conley and Ann are the one of the two. Rudy Gobert is out there with Julius Randle. And it's McDaniels in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Edwards. Up top, Randle. Who poked away. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Here's Ellis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. That's off as well, so he misses both. And it's Edwards with the ball for the T-Wolves. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Murray against Randall. From down in the low post, it goes. Assist from Randall's got nine. Yeah, nice play by Randall. He can take up space in there and has great short area quickness. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's McDaniels. Boom! He jams it straight down. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Now here's DeRozan. Back to Fox. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got his fifth assist in this one. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Edwards. 28 points for him. Over Fox. Ellis with a rebound. Kings trail by 11. Pass to DeRozan. Now here's Murray. Here's Ellis. McDaniels covering. Ellis passes to Murray. Four on the clock. Kicks it to DeRozan. From behind the arc. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. Outside Murray. Fires for three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got a rebound number five here tonight. Right side Conley. Pass to Edwards. And here's McDaniels. Here's Gobert. Gobert working inside. Monster down low. I mean, Gobert says, forget your contact and give me the bucket. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And we'll have a timeout called by Mike Brown. He wants to review the game plan. Attention fans. Now on the court is your Mike against Conley. DeRozan outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Sabonis with a screen on McDaniels. Inside. And Sabonis slams it in. I love watching Sabonis work in screen rolls. Positions himself perfectly in every set. DeMar DeRozan, an impressive scorer who takes relatively few three-point shots, Greg. Yeah, the arc is not his primary focus. He'd rather pick you apart in the mid-range, but he does it so consistently that the points pile up quick. Now here's Edwards. And he's got 28 now. Well, we know Edwards has an impressive skill set, but what really separates him is the competitive edge that he plays with. This is his second trip to the line in the game. Throw good, Edwards. And both free throws good for Edwards. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Sabonis outside. It's blocked by Gobert. Well, Rudy loves erasing shots. Every chance he gets, he'll take a swipe at you. Conley looking for an opening. On the take, Edwards. The officials were right on top of that one. Second personal foul. Second team foul. So far, he's made all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. First one falls for him. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Kings trail by 14. Here's DeRozan. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Defensive foul. Anthony Edwards. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. And Richard, throughout his career, DeMar DeRozan has such an easy time finding ways to score. He knows how to get to his spots on the floor, B.A. You have to do your work early against DeRozan because he is a midi master. If you let him move freely, he will J you to death. And the Timberwolves making a change here. DiVincenzo's checked in. There's an old-school feel to DeMar's game. He'll hit you with a pull-up mid-range J. It makes DeRozan really tough to guard. Conley passes to Gobert. McDaniels against DeRozan. Back to Daniels. Randall outside. Over Murray. And that one hits the back iron. Kings trail by 11. DeRozan right side. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. The Timberwolves have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. And look at the stride Gobert possesses. Able to get in with just a few steps. DeRozan passes to Sabonis. Fox with the ball. He's guarded by Conley. Wow, physical D, but Fox prevails. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Pass to DiVincenzo. Rebound by Sacramento. Sabonis has got rebound number eight now from the high post. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Conley. 
lays it up and banks Mike it in. Conley. And the Timberwolves lead by 13. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Fox against Conley. Sabonis with a screen on Conley. Fox for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Fox has got seven points for the quarter. And what kind of defense was that? You can't I'm give up right right over over threes like that. What are you doing? And Chris Finch has called timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. to McDaniels. Let's a floater go. Rebound by Sacramento. Fox feeling it out a bit. Sabonis outside. Back to Fox. Now Sabonis. Defended by Gobert. Just five on the clock. And Gobert with a block. Releases. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. And it's DeRozan with the ball for Sacramento. It's a 10-point game. Sabonis outside. Pass to Ellis. Now here's Fox. He's guarded by Conley. And the Kings with another three. They need offense from Fox at the point guard. His jump shot is an important weapon for them. For Minnesota, they've gotten five of ten shots to go. Outside McDaniels. Outside, DiVincenzo. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. DiVincenzo's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Box the pass to Sabonis. And here's Murray. Checked by Randall. And there's a pick. Here's Fox. Fox hits it right through the contact. A smaller guard, but Fox relentless through contact. Conley against Fox. Randall outside. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Yeah, and anytime there's contact in there with Randall, he usually gets the best of it. DeRozan outside. Ooh, McDaniels with a steal. Randall inside. Defended by Murray. Randall can't hit. Kings trail by 10. 4-3. Trails it from deep. Ellis has got his first three points of the game. Such a talented passer at his position. Sabonis is all about making winning plays. And Chris Finch has called timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Timberwolves making a switch here. Sacramento Kings breakers. Pass to Randall. Ingles against DeRozan. Randall, left side. 18 feet out. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Randall's got six here in the quarter. And yeah, Randall is absolutely a threat from in between. Something that D has to recognize and adjust accordingly. 
Long passes to Fox. Randall pulls down the board. The Timberwolves lead by nine. Up top, Ingles. Pass to Reed. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. First personal And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Look, they're getting good looks inside. It's been a point of emphasis all night long, but I love this hard-nosed attitude of this team. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. And that one falls for Reed. Kings trail by 12. And here's Fox. He's got 36 points. Looking to get back on track. And it's Sabonis laying it in. Sabonis has got 10. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Down low. Here's Reed. A slam down by Reed. Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Box the pass to Monk. Going inside. The three from DeRozan. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got eight rebounds in the game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Randall a screen on Monk. DiVincenzo against Monk. Shot clock at six. There's the three. Two minutes remaining in the three. Rebounded. Devonta Sabonis. Sabonis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Fox goes in. That's a lightning speed right there as Fox earns himself a trip to the line. This is his third trip to the free throw line in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw's good for Fox. And Sacramento with some changes. Lyles, he's checked in for Murray. And Herter's subbed in for DeMar DeRozan. And both free throws good for Fox. Minnesota leading by 10. Outside, Ingles. It's Randall that time on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got three assists in the game. Now here's Fox, covered by Alexander Walker. Lyles a screen. Fox for three. Reed with the rebound. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Ingles passes to DiVincenzo. Here's Reed. And another basket from Minnesota. Did he need to use the fadeaway? No. Did I enjoy seeing it? Yes, I did. And 101 left in the third quarter. Here's Fox. Makes good on the step back jumper. Fox has got 40 points. The defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. Over to the left wing. Randall, left side. Rebound by Sacramento. Now here's Herter. Five points in the game. Fox outside. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Fox has got 42 in the game. That sweet lefty stroke from Fox, you don't see that very often. Now here's Randall, guarded closely. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor.
Free throw drops for Randall. And so it's Minnesota in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Perimeter is filled up by Monk and DeRozan. Trey Lyles is out there with Alex Lynn, and it's Ellis in at the point. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Back to Alexander Walker. Five to shoot. Here's the pick. Fires from the line. Rebound by Sacramento. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. Pass to Lynn. Monk against Edwards. Up top, Monk. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Anthony Edwards. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And the first one at the line is good. And Minnesota making a change here. Randall is checked in. Drops them both. Minnesota leading by 11. Outside, DiVincenzo. Reed to screen on Monk. To the inside. And Reed with a basket. Wrong the assist by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got assist number five here tonight. Here's Ellis. Covered by Alexander Walker. DiVincenzo against Monk. DeRozan outside. Looking to end this cold spell. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Randall's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Randall's got 20. Kings trail by 15. Monk with it. And they call an illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. The Timberwolves lead by 15. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Randall. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. You know, a reliable veteran like Julius Randall is so valuable. He provides a foundation for everyone else to play off of because they know he'll be there to score and help out. He makes it easier for other players to succeed around him. off on the first okay. 
and he's good on the second. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. DeRozan against Ingles. DeRozan looks it over. Clock at six. Elbow shot. He hits the back iron and sinks it. DeRozan has every shot, but that mid-range, yeah, that's his bread and butter. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. Outside, DiVincenzo. Randall outside. Pass to Reed. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First person foul. Second team foul. And he drops a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. DiVincenzo against Monk. Down low. Minnesota foul. Nas Reed. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Shoot two. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Outside, Alexander Walker. Pass to Ingles. Outside, Reed. Puts up a three. And that one drops. Now and three. it comes off an assist three from Ingles. Points. Ingles has got his fourth assist with that last one. And so DeRozan will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by 17. Up top, Monk. DiVincenzo covering. Monk passes to DeRozan. With the teardrop. Excellent D there from Ingles. The Timberwolves lead by 17. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections. They're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. Keegan Murray's checked in for Sacramento. Herter comes in for Lyles. And Minnesota with possession here. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. 11 feet out. Here's Reed. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. It's on Keegan Murray. That one misses. Good on the second one. Kings trail by eighteen. Here's Monk, over to the wing. 
Outside Herter. DeRozan against Randall. Pass to Monk. Clock at four. Puts up a deep three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's DiVincenzo. Monk covers. Reed with it. Outside for Randall. The three ball. Rebound by Sacramento. Pass to DeRozan. And another miss by Sacramento. Minnesota leading by 18. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Fourth personal foul. Changes for Sacramento. Damana Sabonis comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And De'Aaron Fox is subbed in for Herter. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Conley's checked in for Ingles. good on that one. You know, when it comes to Keegan Murray, it's his all-around presence that helps this team, Richard. Yeah, he's a very talented blue guy. He doesn't make a ton of splash plays, but he is steady and consistent, and coaches love players like that. And it's Fox missing. And here's Minnesota now. They're on a 13-4 run. Randall, good. Randall. You're muscling through the contact on the drive. Randall, sensational at bullying his way to the rack. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Inside, here's Ellis. That one falls. Nice feed from Sabonis. The assist, Domas. Sabonis has got his third assist of the night. The Timberwolves lead by 20. Randall outside. Pass to Reed. That is now his seventh Reed. field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. Julius Absolutely Randall. ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. Now here's Monk. Pass to Sabonis. The shot. Murray, no good. And here are the Timberwolves. They're on a 17-6 run. Here's Conley. Ellis with a rebound. The Kings have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Fox outside. Sabonis with a screen on DiVincenzo. Three-pointer, Fox. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Reed's got rebound number eight now. The three, DiVincenzo. Here's Randall. No luck on that one. Great D that time from Murray. Fox against DiVincenzo. Back to Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, and Murray makes this look all too easy. Superb at throwing it down with some power. Conley against Fox. Randall a screen on Fox. Fox against Conley. Over Fox. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Outside Murray. Pass to Sabonis. Now here's Fox. Monk with it. Covered by Alexander Walker. Now Conley. Reed with it. Nice D from Sabonis. To the middle. And 
it's Murray finishing it off. A little bouncy finish. I see Murray. The Timberwolves lead by 20. And Chris time Finch time calls timeout here. Looking to get everyone Party. dialed in and engaged. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Rudy Gobert. Hey, <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. <laughs> this crowd had no idea what they were in for. He came in and silenced them with a dominant performance. He was an intimidating presence tonight. This audience didn't seem to affect him in the slightest. Outside Edwards. An easy two on the layup. Edwards. Edwards has got 33. Oh, so smooth inside. Edwards found the opening and exploited it. Pass to Ellis. Now Murray. And here's Fox. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Fox has got 44. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Conley. And here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Oh my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Wow. Now here's Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Here's DeRozan. There's the screen. McDaniels with some nice D. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. To the paint. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's DeRozan. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. Outside Edwards. Domas Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Fox. And De'Aaron Fox picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And the Kings going with a whole new group out there. Minnesota leading by 22. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Timberwolves. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Julius Randle. Oh, he was at the center of everything that happened in this game. His energy was felt throughout the building, and his impact, well, it was incredible. Here's Dillingham. Outside, Alexander Walker. Pass to Reed. From seven. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound, Timberwolves. And here's Dillingham from the arc. On target from range. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. 
There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Out to the wing. Left side read. Six to shoot. It's blocked! And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. First free throw is good. And so Reed nails them both. Fox with the ball. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. The to walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance Thanks like that, us. that says a lot about this squad. The they really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Rudy, you guys came to play tonight. Can you talk about the motivation right from the opening tip? We just wanted to have a good defensive game. You know, come out ready and uh, make sure we communicate and run back. Because these guys are very talented and uh, we did a great job. The communication paid off. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Richard Jefferson, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for being with us. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Rudy Gobert.